the classic matchup, Nobuhiko Takata from Pro Wrestling versus the returning Hoist Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. So here we go, the match that all Japan has been waiting for, the return of Hoist Gracie versus the ever popular Nobuhiko Takada. Classic matchup of pro wrestler versus Gracie Jiu Jitsu. Hoist did choose to wear the gi. Unbelievable, unbelievable in this day and age that he still wear the gi. And Hoist does weigh the same fighting weight he did when he made his miraculous victories in the, in the three out of the first four UFCs. Now let's see if Takata can sprawl. Because Hoist is going for a take -down. Don't tell me that he's a master boxer. Oh, whoop, there we go. Hoist shoots in, shoots in high, locks up high. And he wants to drop himself into the guards. Hoist would probably pull the guard. Now it looks like the gi is already getting wadded up behind Hoist's back by Mr. Takata. There's a knee. I'm expecting a knee from Takata shortly. Hoist is working for the trip. Here comes the knee, just as Gary prophesied. And Hoist pulls guard, and down they are. They're on the mat. Now, this is where Hoist wants to be. Hoist likes to work from the guard. Mr. Takata has never established himself as a ground-and-pound type of fighter. He's more of a stand-up kicker and some submissions. But Hoist is going to go. Now, Takata's up high. He's got the gi. He's holding onto the gi, so it's going to be hard for Hoist to do anything other than what is the weight difference between the two fighters? Not very much. It's maybe uh, 30 pounds? Uh, Hoist is about uh, 176 pounds, which is uh, close to his fighting weight, like as I said before, when he used to fight five years ago. Mr. Takada, we have here as weighing 209 pounds, oh. although he looks a little heavier than that. Yes, that's what I thought. That's why. So about 30 pounds, according yeah. on paper. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's okay. That's 30, possibly 40, depending on uh, how accurate our statistics are well providing that uh that gracie wins here he will be fighting people i'm sure um almost uh, up to 100 pounds heavier than him yes sir. yeah they do that knows exactly what well, he's he, doing there you go hoist is going up with that leg he, hoist is going to bring that leg up in front of takata's face and go for either an arm bar or a triangle and this is his game this is what he wants he's very patient it's not a good thing there to hold up the key like that there yeah. with the straight arm, you know, that's asking he, for an arm bar right he's there. He's asking for an arm bar. Well, that's more like begging for an arm bar. Yes. Yes. Horse is going up high with those legs <clears throat> and now bringing it back down low. I think probably looks like he's looking for an he's arm bar very soon. Yeah, he wants to go on the left, but the cutter. So. Maybe he wants to finish it off in style with a figure four, Senkaku. That would be great, huh? Because arm bar is getting, yeah, he, get caught, he was caught already two times in the arm bar by Gracie, so let's see if he can make a nice triangle choke for us. Senkaku. Senkaku. Now, Mr. Takata does have that right arm taped up pretty heavily. That's the same arm that hits an arm bar twice. And it, then Marker over it. And then Marker did his uh, hammer lock on that same arm. It would really be a disaster if Hoist arm barred that comes, same arm. Here and here, there it is. And Hoist is going for that same arm. And he leaves the arm there. I can't believe he's, it. He's trying, to, he's trying to hook that uh, left leg up in front of Takata's face. Just hit him. No, why, why is Takata not hitting? Takata seems uh, content to be patient, shall we say. Oh, this is a really cool one. Let me see. If he comes to pull the elbow, he's going to set it up for the left arm of Takata. Right there. Let me see what he does. Hoist is digging away at those chopping heel kicks to, to 
Kata's uh, kidney. kidney is starting to mark up the side of his body. Not a lot on those, but after a while, Garrett, those are going to add up. Yeah. Yeah, especially after the fight. You're going to sit down and you think, what's that pain in my back? That's where the heels. Now, it uh, kind of puzzles me why Takata is not doing any offense. Nothing at all. I would strike him as hard as I could. Look at this. It is smart, you know. He plays a smart game. And that, that strange kick that he made to the head before from the guy, that was, was pretty cool, you know. I think when it hits and it's on the jaw, it will hurt anyway. So. You know, Hoyce Gracie is a very limber fighter. Oh, yes. It's unbelievable. He can do the splits both ways, I believe. He's just digging away. Look, he's even grabbing his own leg and hitting. It's very smart. You know, you see it getting red already, so there is an impact. His father, Helio, looking on intensely. But if uh, Takada not, is not going to hit, then uh, Hoyce is going to win the fight like this. Go, go, go. Five, looking for that arm bar, for the left arm of Takada. Well, so far, uh, Twice Gracie has made all the offensive moves. Takata has been content to just hold on. And now he, th there he goes again, boss, straightening those arms, posting the arms with the gi. He wants to hang onto the gi. Hoist could even use the gi as a weapon against Takata in the right position. Such as he's doing now, he's wrapping the gi around Takata's neck. And it would be a little embarrassing to get choked out with a piece of clothing. Yeah, but it's not going to work. <laughs> right? <laughs> if that's going to work, it's going to be a miracle. No, it's not going to work. What he, the only thing, it's, it's a little bit of a hold what he got, but nothing serious. It might be a distraction, though, because that kind of should hide some. That's the thing he should do. But yeah, he doesn't do it, so. Yeah, because from the guard, you can strike a lot. Yeah, I think well, this is time other, for the referee. Uh, the only other alternative why Takata would be doing uh, a game plan like this is that he's not in shape and uh, he's afraid to exert too much energy doing something. Yeah, or, but I mean, uh, from, uh, listen, man, punching, you can punch. thousand punches well, and not get tired. I mean, I mean, from the guard. Well, why, why else would uh, Takata choose to, uh, to have such a, a game plan? Yeah, I don't uh, know. The only thing I can think of is that he would think that Hoist Gracie would tire himself out, but I, I don't think so because Hoist, after a five-year layoff and coming off of that jiu-jitsu loss to Valij Ishmael, he's going to be in shape for this fight. He's ready. Yeah. yeah he's going to put his best foot forward because th their whole, his whole legendary reputation is on the line here, and he, he's not going to come in and get gassed. And Takata's just laying there. Oh, look at him. He's, he can uh, eat a sandwich and drink a beer now, you see. He's... <laughs> He's relaxing, he's taking his time, but Takata has to defense. work. Very good defense by Takata. Yes. But but you're not going to win a, f a fight trying to defense. block an arm bar. Maybe, I mean, maybe he thinks with the takedown that the takedown is enough. Maybe God knows what he thinks, you know. You see what he does? He tries to camouflage the punch up. That's a pretty smart move. Yeah. He covers his eyes and then he hits with the other hand. But, Boss, you yourself know that you can feel when a, a person is going to uh, punch you in this position. Oh, yeah. You can. you can just feel it. Because all of a sudden their, their hand is not next to your head anymore, pulling it toward you, and you know that they're going to whack you. My God, guys. Well, the only other thing would be uh, Takata's just maybe trying to get into the second round and um, pick up some momentum. I think even though Hoist has, uh, e e even though Ho Hoist has established the fact that he is doing most of the action, he's not 
hurting Takata. He hasn't come even close to a submission. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this went 15 minutes, if it doesn't change, and there was an additional round, Gary. You know what I hope? That this will go for an additional round, and then another one, and another one, till finally somebody gets tired and does something. You know, because otherwise, it's going to take a long time like this. You know, if Takara doesn't work, he has to work. He has to strike. See, there's nothing he, he's doing right now. Well, you know, also, Gracie, has, um, as a fighter, he knows how to push the, the opponent. He could still be putting his legs... Uh, his heels and uh, his opponent's hips and rock, walking his shoulders back in order to make Takata work. Yep. In order to make him do something. So it's really um, both of, um, of them standing there, sitting there watching each yep. other. That's true. You know, That's true. Gracie's uh, maybe using 10% of what he really can do at this point, and uh, Takata, I'd say he's about 8% of what he can really do. <laughs> you know, so they're, they're, they're really both not doing anything. Yeah. I, I really think that Takata's using 7%, actually. You really seven percent, eight percent. <laughs> All <laughs> right, step into the ring. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the eight. But I've got to work here at ringside, Gary. <laughs> so five minutes left in what has not turned into an exciting fight yet. Oh, what? Oh, sorry, I uh, d d dove off a little bit. Yeah. Two men waiting for each other to make a mistake. Really, that's exactly what I'm seeing. We get into uh, a situation here where in no holds barred or kickboxing or boxing, is it a sport or is it entertainment? People do pay money to be entertained by fights. Yep. And sometimes uh, a fighter has to take that into consideration of, of their, their responsibility. There's a face crunch. Yeah, and there's a number coming also. Yeah. He's, he's, uh, something up. he's working the face over, crunch. He's working over under choke. He's working to get that. Uh, it's a face crunch. But if yeah. Takata brings his head up, he will have the choke. If he's going to push him off, then he's going to go for armbar. That's, oh. Yeah, it's just a distraction, basically. I mean, he, he could get the choke using the gi, but Takata might be able to just bust his way out. Takata has done absolutely nothing at this point. Except hold the gi. If somebody put the gi in my face, I would blow my nose. In <laughs> but that's really that's really poor hygiene, though, isn't it? Or I know, but to just see, hey, get that piece of cloth away from me, you know? Yeah. Look, his his, his back is turning into red. Look at this. Three minutes. Three minutes left. It makes me wonder what would have happened if Hoyce had a different opponent, let's say Igor Bovchanchin or Mark Kerr. <laughs> I know what would happen. Or Big Daddy. Or Big Daddy. Big Daddy with his mokers. <laughs> <laughs> because there, there have been, it's almost as if Takata decided he's not going to strike at strike. all. Yes. Zero strikes. That, that's exactly what I wanted to say. It looks exactly like it. But if it were Kerr or Gary or... Coleman or Volchanchin, there would be strikes. So and it's going to be a tough on the second round. And a whole lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, and also it's not attractive for the people right now, you know. Well, so far, the people that have won in the tournament, um, we've got some fairly dangerous individuals, so no matter how these things match up, um, going to be tough. It's going to be the, 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 the finals on May 1st will be tough. We've got Sakuraba, Gary Goodridge, Fujita, Kirasoji. We've got Vanderlei Silva, who's an alternate, but a very dangerous individual. Mark Coleman, Mark Kerr, Igor Vokshanshin, and the winner of this fight will have to face one of those gentlemen. 
<laughs> what a tournament that. A risky proposition. <laughs> Any way you slice it, Gary. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I Give know it you me. do. God, man. Gary, you've never shied away. No, sir. Take it to him. Win or lose, but I'm going to beat somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you already did tonight. <laughs> There's an arm button. Okay, yeah, he's, he's going. No, he's giving it. Hello. There yeah, he's is. just totally, yeah, he's posting those arms straight up. Don't tell him he's going to get straight on both. Uh, it doesn't, uh, time's probably going to run out. I mean, unless he makes, unless Takata makes a huge mistake. Takata might be waiting for the restart after the overtime. It looks like it might go to overtime. I, I, I think the voice has done, uh, it's hard to say. I mean, he. Gotta could be doing them little chops from there on his face. <clears throat> because Royce has got a nice nose. Something like yours, boss. Oh, yeah? I thought uh, mine was much prettier. Uh, just a little bit. Yeah. Got a high bridge. It looks like it could be uh, tendered up a bit. Oh, there's, there's a strike there, by Takata. That's the first oh, punch he threw. Right. Oh. But he threw the punch. The turn. voice is going. And that's the end of regulation. <laughs> Round one. Takata is limping. What? T something's wrong with Takata's... Oh, no. I think it's, it's cramped. Something's wrong with Takata's left leg. Yeah, it was already hurt, you see? Okay, now that's what's going to happen. He's going to stop the fight. Uh, oh, please uh, don't let it be like this. That's, uh, that's really going to be an unfortunate and anticlimactic way to end this fight. Uh, people do want to see the last fight possibly end in... Uh, a certain amount of finality, a submission, probably. Uh, Mr. Takata is in pain. Uh, looks like it's going to be over, yeah. Takata is uh, obviously in a good deal of pain. Here we have Hoist trying to work that gi and striking underneath. These were good strikes, by the way. These those two strikes. Yeah, really the relaxed, guys. good punches right on the chin. Going for the over-under choke with the gi over the top. Takata trying to worm his way out of it. Stay close. Uh, Mr. Takata looks like he can't even stand up. So we shall see. Uh, Takata looks like he's limping toward the ring. And here we are to the judge's decision. Well, I've seen uh, a lot of love taps. Hoist has won a unanimous decision against Nobuhiko Takata. In a way, I, I understand the decision, and he did more than Takata. Takata did virtually nothing. Hey, right, listen, there was... That is not a victory, you know. Come on, everybody, look at the people here in the audience, and uh, and myself also. And, uh, hey, everybody understands. It. There was nothing. Takata did nothing. Nothing but one punch. Absolutely nothing. Took him down. No, no, that was it. I guess it, you could say that he showed up. He got in the ring, and he held the gi. He didn't want to fight. No, not good. His last fight against Hickson. That was a good fight. Yeah, he gave Hickson a good fight in that second fight. Now, it looks like that knee is pretty messed up. That's but it's a thing we don't know, but you see, because he's got, yeah, his knee is messed up. But still, he could have punched. He could punch, 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 you know, go for something. Yeah. So we've uh, seen the return. We've, we've seen the return of Hoist Gracie. Uh here at the Pride Grand Prix 2000. And he was victorious over Nobuhiko Takata via a unanimous decision, 15 minutes.
And looks like we're going to hear something from Mr. Gracie. I shall do the translation. Okay, let's hear your translation. <laughs> Never mind. Now, I really wonder where they're going to put him up against in the, in the, in the, in the finals. You know, in, I would really like to see him against Mark, you know, like they have planned a long time ago already when he got his back injured. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would I really like to see him fight like that. I would like to see him against me next match. Yes, no, that's what you want. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the two uh, candidates already right there. I wonder if Mr. Honor. Honor. This tournament, get together, got together with the best fighters. And it's a pleasure to be here because I'm back and I'm here to stay. This is my house now. Well, those are pretty, um, pretty harsh words. Uh, I think he's got a lot of owners in that house, boy. Yeah. And it's, yeah. But uh, I like to hear that. Uh, the, the thing about this tournament here is that... We're all fighting for the same foul. Thank you. But you hear the reaction of the audience. It's... Um, it was a shame, you know. I really would have seen, liked to see a nice triangle, a nice armbar. And they give a hand for Helio. This guy was a big master in his time, man. He was, he fought everybody, big guys, 80 kilos heavier, you know. He took it on. Which guy? He was the man. He was the man. He really was. Okay. That's Horion. Horion. This is Helio. 